Hi, I'm Ken Ham, president of Answers in Genesis, the Creation Museum, and the coming Ark Encounter. And we're going to go on an exciting tour, it's sort of like going behind the scenes at Disneyland or Universal Studios. We're here at the design studios of Answers in Genesis, where we have all sorts of talented people in here preparing the exhibits for the coming Ark Encounter. I'd like you to meet Patrick Marsh, who's the vice president of Attractions Design. So we're looking at the illustrations for some of the exhibits to go into the Ark Encounter project. Yeah, this is basically a concept layout for all of the three decks, plus what's happening uh, below deck in the queue line. Gives people a, a good idea of uh, where we're going with the idea, uh, the designs, and uh, all of the things we're doing. And so it kind of lays it out, you know, floor by floor. And I think it's going to be a pretty exciting place. Hey, let's go inside and meet some of the designers. First off, I want to introduce a couple of our lead designers, Kristen Anderson. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit what you're working on right there, Kristen? Uh, right now, I'm working on drawing out the uh, Deck One show, which uh, the guests will encounter as they first come in the Ark, and then also I'm working on Jacob's bedroom. Very good. This is Alan Green. Which, which exhibit are you working on, Alan? This is Noah's woodworking shop. This is just a color scheme study, so we can get the colors right for the space. And this is Chris. Uh, Chris is really in charge of all of the uh, exhibit fabrication that we have outside. He's really the uh, coordinator and the one that gets all this stuff done. He figures out what the cost of all of these things are and gets it out on the shop. Absolutely. Great? And uh, we have a great team of fabricators who are working tirelessly. We have carvers, sculptors, construction, uh, painters. It's a, a plethora of uh, talent out there, and they're doing a great job. We get the uh, drawings from our drafting team. We go, we redline it, and then put it into assembly, and uh, we've gotten a lot of stuff made already. Good. Thanks, Chris. This is Mike uh, Belknap. He's our animal expert uh, within the team itself. So tell me what you're doing today, huh? OK. Um, I'm working on a design book for uh, the representatives of our rhinoceros kind. Very good. You've been involved in the drawings and all, all of the release uh, development of all the different animals that we're actually sculpting right now, putting mm -hmm. in the ark. Is that correct? That's right. Yeah. So Mike. God sent two of each kind, not species, but kind of land animal uh, on the ark, seven of some, of course. And so what you're trying to do, as I understand it, is develop what the original kinds may have looked like, different to what we see today, and yet you'll recognize the type of animal, correct? That's right. That's the idea. Um, so we don't want the animals to look like modern animals uh, because the animals, um, though they're created within their kind, they change within their kind. Um, so they can, they can adapt to a limited degree to their environment. And so we, we don't want them to look like modern animals. We want them to look like uh, the animals that, were, uh, that we find in the fossil record that were a little bit closer to what you'd find in, um, on the ark. So. But you still recognize horses as horses. That's right. And camels as camels. But they'll look a little different to what we expect today. Exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is Umberto. Um, Umberto is one of our graphic designers. This is our graphic design area in here. And Umberto is working on, uh, looks like something for Ice um, the Ice Age, right? Yes, sir. Tell us what you're doing. Uh, well, uh, we're trying to explain some of the uh, consequences of Ice Age and some of the remains. So we're trying to explain people what happened after the Ice Age and some things that we can see in nature. So we're trying to make some graphics for them to, to see. And this will be in some of the bays, correct? Yes, this is, uh, this is in one of the bays. So this is basically about the Ice Age. This is Greg, and uh, he's working in the process right now on the Tower of Babel. And tell us what you're doing, Greg. Uh, today, I'm just finishing up painting the last of the animals and um, working on construction, putting together, fabricating things like the tower and stuff like that. So. Now, you don't sculpt every one of those animals, right? No, those are printed. Are they printed yes. on a 3D printer? Yes. And then you take them from there and... Yes. He paints them. He's got to have great eyes, right? Yes. Yeah, these <laughs> tiny little things are, you know, less than an inch tall. Yep. So this will be a Tower of Babel exhibit? Yes, it will. This is Sandy. She's our stitcher seamstress, and she's working on all the fabric items that we have, including costumes and drapes and all kinds of things. And what are you working on today? Uh, working on costumes for um, the wives of um, Shem and Ham and Japheth. Um, today was working on earlier Ham's wife's costume for deck three. Um, getting it put together and getting on there and figuring out the style of it and everything. So. Patrick, I see our very special friend over here, Gene. Gene is a volunteer. Good morning, Gene. And he's built a lot of different things for the Creation Museum. Okay. And really appreciate all the help that you give. And you've volunteered for years here. About 20. About 20 years. <laughs> so, Gene, this 
workbench here of Noah's. It's going to be in the ark. You made it as an actual working bench, correct? That's right. Can you show yes. us how it works? Yeah, well, these pegs go in these holes. Depends how big you want this vise. And this is actually a vise here. You see, when you turn this, it compresses. So depending upon how big the thing is, you'll put this in a given hole to uh, hold whatever you're whatever you're holding. So it's not just a prop, it's actually a working oh, no, bench. It, it works. It works. Yeah. And there's stops down there at the end. You see those things sticking up? So if you have big things, that keeps them from moving forward. And this has the cubic measurements along the sides. And I think that's hit tight numbering. I think, Ken, I'm not sure, but I think that's what it is. Now, Mike, we spoke to you earlier. You were designing the different kinds that are going to go on board Noah's Ark. What have we got here? Um, these are some forms uh, that we've uh, sculpted with the CNC machine, and it's been refined by hand. Uh, these will be uh, one of our extinct snaps at times. Uh, it's called John Caria. So we have a couple of those. We have a, a few snapsids that are actually going to be on board. These will be in deck one. So most of these animals here have been produced on the computer and then sent to the CNC machine? That's correct. Yes. Could you show us what a CNC machine is? Sure. First, we sculpt the animals in 3D on the computer. Um, and then that information is sent over to a uh, computer over here where it's, uh, it's uh, cleaned up, in a sense. And then uh, the information is sent to the CNC machine, which is a, it's, it's a, basically a large table with a uh, robotic drill um, on it. And it takes uh, some foam that we put in there. We put styrofoam sheets in. And it'll take the, uh, uh, the drill and essentially cut out uh, the shape of the animal in the foam. So then we can take those pieces, um, glue them together, and then we have our, our starting form for the animals. And then the sculptors take it from there. That's right. Now we're in an area which is a wood shop and a metal shop. What do we have here in front of us? Yeah, this is really our large fabrication area. And what we've got, you'll see a lot of boxes, you'll see a lot of tables, you'll see a lot of cages, a lot of things which really are a lot of them are background props to everything that we're doing to make it look noadic. Noah had to bring a lot of goods on board, so we had a lot of boxes. Right in front of us right here is a stage in the first floor show where Noah and his family are going to be praying as the storm begins to happen. Wow, that'll, that'll have a message for them, won't it? Here's Absolutely. Noah and his family praying as the flood comes. Now here, it looks like you've set up the Ice Age exhibit, so you're modeling that to show how it fits into these two bays? Right, the whole purpose of actually doing these bays was to be able to, to develop exhibits inside the bay and to work to, you know, work on the designs of it and the actual final fabrication. And then once we're done with that, we can actually take them out like you would a set and store them behind us. And you've already got exhibits completed yeah, and stored. we've already got exhibits and stored that are back there. But Patrick, this looks like cages. I noticed there's different styles of cages, different sizes of cages that they're building in here. And what are these ladies doing over here? These ladies are actually doing what we call the aging and finishing of the cages. What we do is we buy all of the, all of the wood and everything as in a new form, but actually over time, everything begins to age and gray. If we went out to the ark, you'd see that the wood that's there is beginning to gray a little bit in the sunshine. And so what they're doing is they're creating kind of a a little bit of a what nature would do over time with a paintbrush. We call that scenic painting. Now, another very important part of the whole art project is the content we want people to be able to receive. So we have to have people who do research and then write all the signage to make sure the text is accurate and it's going to teach people the truth of God's word and the gospel. So how are we doing that, Patrick? Yeah, Tim Chafee is the one that's in charge of all of the content. He basically, everything runs through him and uh, he's responsible for uh, getting all of that stuff done for all of the signage and everything we're gonna be saying within the ark itself. So what are you working on right now, Tim? I'm working on the Why the Bible is True exhibit. And so we've got, as you know, we just expanded the, the space that we have yeah, for that. Yeah. So I get to expand the amount of content we have. And yeah. so I've been doing a lot of research on it and uh, I'm happy that the, we have more space for that particular one. That's good, great. Just for interest, Tim, how many pages of content do you think that you've produced ready for the Ark Encounter? Uh, probably around 300, just on things that will be used, and then of course all of the background material, and Patrick asked me to write a background story about Noah and all of these things that we might use behind the scenes. And so I, I think that number would probably go up over 500. Well, 
we're back where we started from. And Patrick, I really appreciate you taking us on a tour. We met some of the people involved who are producing the exhibits for the Ark Encounter. Of course, we only met a few of them. There's a lot going on here. It's an exciting place, a lot of activity, a lot involved that people don't realize. But it was a great behind the scenes tour. And I want to thank you on taking us through the design studios here. Well, thank you for coming over here. And I know that you wish you worked here because it's really exciting. It is exciting.